Welcome back to Jeff Kuinange Live here at Citizen Television with the General himself. General Mohamed Badi is the Director General of the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, NMS. He's the man in charge. He says, there's a new sheriff in town. I love it. By the way, six months ago, the governor transferred four key functions of the city, health, planning, development, transport, and public works. Uh, and General, you were talking to me in the break about uh, the health facilities that you're, um, that you're building. How many, yeah. and what's the time frame? <clears throat> We have uh, 24 facilities. Five are actually things that had been done halfway, and 19 starting afresh from groundbreaking. We were given 90 days. Uh, the time frame is 100 days to do it, and I intend to do it within that time frame. 100 days? 100 days, yes. And, and the boss comes to check? Yes, he comes himself to, to check. And supervise? And supervisors. So and you have to be there. You don't have a breathing space. To, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not an easy job. <laughs> I don't envy you. I said it at the beginning. I said I don't envy you. Yeah, but you know, Kazi Kwako, bro. Yes. Dennis Yego on Twitter. These tweets are coming in crazy. It's madness here. Dennis Yego says, kindly ask General, what's the plan for border border riders in the city? Actually, the, the plan is for all PSV vehicles, including border borders. So we'll have different terminals for all the routes coming into Nairobi. We'll have around six terminals, starting with the one near Railways Club, that will turn it into a Matatu terminals for all Matatus or all PSVs coming along Mambasa Road, Ngong Road, and uh, Langata Road. So they'll all end up uh, in, uh, next to Railway Club, we are already making that facility uh, where they will come in and be able to return back on their routes without entering CBD. Hmm. So we'll have different areas around uh, Globe Roundabout just next. We have bought some land uh, from various people. We are going to remove all the matatus coming from Thika uh, and uh, Westlands area. We'll, uh, we have already built the Desai Road and Park Road uh, bus terminus. We are now going to build a modern one just next to Globe Roundabout, where it will house all uh, those uh, areas from uh, uh, Thika and so forth. Mm -hmm. So in that way, we'll be able to reduce the traffic of, of all PSVs, including border borders, where they will leave their passengers there and we have the NMT corridors, which they can walk or ride. Uh, the other issue is uh, we, we will have trains from all uh, directions of Nairobi coming in commuter trains. We have already started with the Mbakasi one, and it is full throughout Jeff from hmm. five. And from there, we'll have the BRT buses that will drop them either to, to, to the to within CBD or to the bus terminus if they, are, they have a journey to continue out of Nairobi. General, is this going to happen in our lifetimes? Or are, we, you know, is, are we talking 100 years from now? Or when? No, we are starting it in November. So we've just got a week before it's officially launched. And that thing, that lipstick thing they were putting on the road for the BRT, is that going to? Yes, it's going to function, Jeff. Uh, so within a week or 10 days, you will see it operational. Are you serious? Yes. Man, <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> Steve Muthama says, universal health care workers have not been paid salaries for five months now. Ministry of Health blames NMS, who blames nobody. Please, buddy, sort out these sons and daughters. Wanaumia, Joe. Yes, we remember that uh, although health is a transferred function, but finance is not a transferred function. So the funds had to go to the county finance section mm. before they were paid. So there's a lot of frustration from uh, the county finance. But now that we are in agreement that we are going to pay all our workers, effective this month, they'll get their salaries on 30th or 31st. General, you must get so much noise coming your way from yes. everywhere. I mean, everyone wants to either strike or they want to uh, you know, steel or whatever it is. Yeah, there must be so much noise in that building. It's true. Uh, we try to talk to them uh, reasonably. And if you sort out their problems, I believe they go back to work. You must miss the military, man. You must yes. miss it. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, Wawero says, General, the general needs to visit Dagoretti South area and see the pathetic roads there. Wanye Road, especially, is in dire situation. Do something, Bona General. Water cartels at Dagoretti Corner also denying residents access to water. Yes, the, within the ward development plans, which have been forwarded by various MCAs, they've raised this concern of different wards, uh, their roads being repaired. Remember, it's a very expensive exercise, but accordingly to the budget that has been set aside by roads, I uh, will be able in this financial year uh, to cater for every ward in Nairobi in terms of road repair or any projects that the MCA have forwarded for them as a matter of priority. So that is uh, work underway. We are still fighting with the county in terms of budget. Yeah. Remember the county assembly approved my budget, but the governor refused to sign. So it's gone back to the assembly. So I'm waiting for them to clear whatever hurdles they have. As soon as I get uh, my budget, I'll hit the road uh, running again. You know, I, I wish I was governor of Nairobi because I would let you do all the work and I'll take all the credit. Yes, true. And you will also win the election. <laughs> 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 Peshi E says, where does the general see the county, county government in the next five years under his leadership? Will the cartels bow to pressure? Remember, my term limit is two, two. years. So I do expect we'll take this county at a greater level than what we found. After that, it will be after 22, 2022, depending whether BBI goes through or mm. not whoever will be the governor or if it's going to be under the national government, I'm sure the plans that we have set will com continue rolling on for them. What's, what's to stop them from being, from, from seizing at the end, of, you know, if whoever is in doesn't agree with what you did, like has happened before, we go back to zero again, go back to scratch. I'm sure the current uh, Mwanainchi or citizen of Nairobi will now know who to choose as their leader so that they get service delivery, just like what I'm doing. Hmm. Yes. All right. Uh, Alu Bembe says, kindly ask the general if the rent waiver for city houses is legitimate, as this was a directive from the governor. Rent waiver for county houses, sorry, county houses. Is it legitimate? No, it is not be because that's a transferred function. So he has absolute no authority to waive. And after all, the people who are collecting revenue now is KRA. So it is KRA to announce that, not the governor. Hmm. Wazolangu, great to see the general. I have been waiting for this moment. Who will save us from the dire water situation in Kilimani? Yeah, madness. Five weeks and counting with no water. Please help us, says Wazolangu. Yes, remember, Jeff, the infrastructure of Nairobi Nairobi demand of water is around 800,000 cubic meters per day. The current infrastructure can only bring in to Nairobi, no matter how much you want it to bring, it can only bring in 525,000. So we have already 275,000 cubic meters per day shortage. Hmm. Jeff, by starting uh, with these boreholes, they don't give much, but the yield is almost 12. A thousand cubic meters increase since I built the first 93. I believe it will improve more when I finish end of this month, the second hundred balls. And we are now with Nairobi Water and Athi Water, we are building the Northern Corridor line, building a new infrastructure that will, will bring in almost 150,000 cubic meters a day. And we are trying to get another line through Kiambu that will bring almost 100. So once this infrastructure in place, we'll cater for all the shortages that is currently facing Nairobi. But Jeff, we should not be short-sighted because we are not thinking of today, we are thinking of five years ahead. Mm -hmm. So there are plans through the World Bank funding to increase the infrastructure to over a million cubic meters so that it can cater for future expansion of Nairobi population. Was it Nairobi a, a, a swamp 100 years ago? 
when they built when they showed up in Nairobi, they said this will be the capital. It was a swamp, right? Yeah, true. So Nairobi. there's water. I mean, there's there is plenty of water. Lina Agnes says, buddy, are you aware of rampant corruption going on at Mbagadi, whereby suppliers are asked for 20% to be paid by the medical superintendent together with accountants? How are you going to address corruption? I'm a supplier there, and they owe me, hey, they owe me 10 million shillings, guy. Well, we are going to take care of that. Remember, uh, corruption was widespread. Mm. But we, 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 we are doing through the different uh, boards of the hospitals in order to streamline the current uh, logistics at the hospitals. We were concentrating mon mainly on improving the hospital capacity because of COVID. But now that these things are coming up, yes, we'll go back to management and see what they are doing wrong. Mm. Do, you, do you regret any part of your taking this job? Do, do you look at yourself in the mirror and say, what was I thinking? No, I think uh, it's an honor to serve. That's why I've, I've entered military. Uh, mine, I've dedicated, as I said, 40 years for this country. And I think it's an honor to serve Nairobi citizens. But tell me something, General. Does it take an iron fist? Is that like, like I, go, I go back to Kigali. Yes. And I see that the country functions. Rwanda works. Yes. Because they listen from top down. Yes. Everyone listens. True. Is it helpful if you have an iron fist once in a while? Yes, as far as the administration in running the county, you do require an iron fist to uh, clean up the area because the mess has spread, it's yeah. widely spread. Okay, Chege uh, Wairimo says, Major General Badi is an indication that with discipline and determination, you can make a change. It, we have some Facebook as well. Whoa, so, my goodness. It's going crazy, General. They're loving it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A chance to engage with you. Yeah, true. All right. All right, Facebook. This is Einstein Shah says, Honorable General Buddy, please take a tour from Fig Tree Ngara up to the Goan Gymkhana. That road has potholes. That area needs your intervention, Tafadali from Fig Tree to go in Gymkhana. We are not very far from Fig Tree, so let him wait, we'll be there to fix all those portals. Hmm. Yes. You hear that, Einstein? It doesn't take an Einstein to figure that out. James Dongojao, Nairobi County has special needs as Kenya's capital. Major General Badi has demonstrated what can be achieved by objective leaders who have no political ambitions. You have none? No. No ambitions? No Political. Ambition. Political. You just want to do your job? Yes, I go back to the barracks. Good Lord. Hey. SMSs. This is Jennifer here. Says, ask General Buddy about his plans for Mokoro and the massive evictions that are happening with his development. Evictions. Mokoro is a sp special planning area, and this is part of the plans that I inherited. Remember, the Mukuru Special Planning Areas was done by 40 NGOs, including three universities, Kenyatta University, uh, Nairobi University, and JQR, uh, including University of Manchester, who came together uh, to plan for this Mukuru Special Planning Areas, including uh, international NGOs and local NGOs. So this, there was an elaborate plan but it could not take off because politically everybody hit it. But when I took over, I asked for funding from national government. We have already started and we are not evicting anybody. We got uh, with the local leadership in Mukuru, including political leadership, and asked them if they wanted that plan implemented. And when they agreed, we persuaded them to talk to Mukuru uh, residents to open up the areas because since independence, Mukuru had no roads. So you cannot blame people building in the de designated areas for roads. So all we required is the local area leadership, uh, the religious leaders, and the political leadership to talk to the people, to give away, demolish their own houses for the sake of development. And only when they did, we walked in, and now we are repairing. We are not repairing, we are making all the roads within the Mukuru uh, system 
uh, putting new sewer lines, which were not existent, mm -hmm. water lines, and electricity. So we, we, we hope within one year, Mukuru will be a modern living estate, upgraded from the slums. In a year? In a year. Mukuru kwa Ruben, Mukuru kwa Jenga? And Mukuru via Andani. Eish. I'm going to hold you to that, General. Yes. One year from now? Yes. Anonymous, a short question, Jeff. Who is the boss? Believe two bulls cannot rule on one ground. Who's in charge of Nairobi County? Well, as far as the four functions are concerned, I'm the boss. But there is still the governor. With all due respect, he is the elected governor. This is the last one? Oh, it's a tweet. Okay, back to tweet, last one. Kindly ask, Governor, what's the plan? Oh, we did ask that. Yeah, what about it? You did address yes, that, didn't yeah, you? We, we did, yes. You sure? Yes. Ask the general, ask General Buddy, if he can help fix Kenya when he's done with Nairobi. <laughs> 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 well, can you yes. help fix Kenya? No, that will have to be a debate for Council of Governors <laughs> to do so. <laughs> Oh my God, at the end of the day, General, uh, yeah. what, what drives you? What drives you? Because you know, what you do, what, what, what you go through every day is madness, especially after the discipline you are used to for 39 years. True. It's madness. What drives you? What drives me is I've been a resident of Nairobi and I've seen deficiencies. So I, I want to see change in Nairobi. So my, that's my determination and I hope I'll achieve it within that two years period. And if you don't? There's nothing like don't in military. You have to achieve it. And the county assembly, the county government, are they supportive? Are they giving you that support that you need? Well, initially they had their own doubts, but now they've seen work happening in the ground. So most of them remember that we are going to elections and there are different wards will hold them responsible for what development they've done. So they are also eager to see development within their wards. So yes, I have support of, of majority of them. Again, I asked you the question, General, I asked you earlier on, any regrets of taking up this job? No, I have no regret. In fact, uh, I wish I could do more. Good Lord. Are there like 10 more of you out there in, 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 in the barracks? Or? I'm sure they are. <laughs> General, it's good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your yes. time, sir. Thank you very much. I know you've much. had a rough day. Yes. And you came straight through here, and I, I really appreciate it. And, and, and we'll keep talking. Thank you very much. Like you much. said, Mukuru, in a year's yes. time, yes. I'm going to be, you know. Even if it. you called me earlier than that, yes. I'm sure you might have loved Come this Christmas, you'll see a different Nairobi, Jeff. This Christmas? Yes. But well, Christmas, Christmas is two months away. Yes. What am I going to see? Just humor me. Uh, first of all, 24 new hospitals where they were not there since independence. Uh, the road, I should have complete major roads to the estates, the NMT corridors. Of course, Nairobi will be lit just like Dubai in terms of lighting. Come on. Yes, we can manage it. Nairobi is a rich county. With proper revenue collection, everything is achievable. And it's workable. It's workable within the shortest time period. And you, do you foresee people walking down the, the CBD, the streets, or cycling into the city without being run over? Yes, that's possible. And we hope within the two years before 2022, they will, that will be a realization. As much as Kenyans are kichwangumu, you know, and they, they question everything. They'll take you to court. They'll resist. They'll say, why should you? Why do this? Why should we? But majority want to see the change. So I'm sure there are few who will be hard hit, but the others will correct them. So I'm sure everything is achievable and workable. General, if I was in the military, I'd salute you right now. But, um, you know, I'll just say more power <laughs> to you, sir. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thanks for your time. Thanks. My goodness. Just need 10 more of these guys. Just 10 more. We'll sort it all out. Watch this space. The general says there's a new sheriff in town. He says by Christmas, Nairobi will be different. Can't wait for Santa Claus. <laughs> Keep <laughs> tweeting at Koinanga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag is JKL. Remember, every Wednesday, it's all about those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. JKL.
right here on Citizen Television. I'm just gonna grab my jacket, General. Don't move. Okay. Don't move. Okay. We'll take a photo before you leave. Yeah. I know every time I, I I forget my jacket, my yeah. mother calls. Okay. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I have my jacket. <laughs> okay. Because she'll call and say, "You've left your jacket." Yeah. So, sure. thanks again, General. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Right. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Good luck. God bless you. God bless these guys.